please. Good evening. Um, I really just want to thank you for taking the time this afternoon or this evening to listen to our concerns. Um, I really want to just focus uh, access to immigrant resources for our immigrant community, especially legal right, uh, resources. Um, I do want to thank you for your support of the Legal Protection Fund over the last four years, and I do want to highlight the successes of that program because I think it is really significant what we have achieved in Chicago. Realistically speaking, though, there are approximately can you, can you share with folks um, what organization you uh, represent? Sure. Of course, Your Honor. Um, I'm with the National Immigrant Justice Center. We're a nonprofit organization in Chicago that works with the immigrant community, specifically with people who are at or below 200 percent of the federal poverty line and may not be otherwise be able to afford legal representation. Um, so I do thank you for your support, Your Honor, of the Legal Protection Fund over these past few years. Um, realistically speaking, we know there are approximately 180,000 undocumented people in the city of Chicago, 50,000 households that have undocumented members. Um, and I really would just like to take the time this evening to encourage you to continue to support um, access to resources to these communities. They include, you know, our community leaders, our small business owners, yep. our friends, our family, um, and they're such an important part of the city of Chicago. So while I thank you for your support, I do also just want to encourage that you continue to support our work. Um, as long as I'm mayor, that's always going to be a priority. Um, as you know, um, as a lawyer, I represented um, immigrants and refugees on a pro bono basis. Um, I raise a lot of money uh, for a NIJC because I believe that the mission of the organization is completely righteous. And as mayor, <clears throat> particularly <clears throat> through the Trump years, having a look into people's eyes and see the real palatable fear, and particularly the fear in the eyes of young children who may have been the only English speaker in their home, kids my daughter's age who had to listen to and then translate for their parents things that no child should ever be subjected to wondering when they went off to school or to play if they would come home to an empty household. Um, I, you may know this, but in the horrible tragedy of Ella Frank's murder, the one brother who ended up taking the gun jumped the fence of a family. It was um, a family of undocumented uh, individuals. They did not shy away from doing the right thing. They tackled the guy and held him till the police came and summoned the police with great fear for their own safety because they are undocumented. I think that just underscores what we already know. The immigrant and refugee community in our city is part of who we are, part of our DNA, essential to who we are as a city, contributing in a number of ways. We cannot allow this important community ever to be demonized, to be marginalized, and to be treated as anything less than who they are, who are our friends, our family, and our neighbors. So it's not a speech or platitudes. It is very, very real for me. I want to make sure that there is real meaning to us being a welcoming city. And as long as I'm mayor, that will be the case.